let's see some very important system error log interview questions repeatedly asked in interviews what is the difference between bit and logic bit is a two state data type having values 0 or 1 where logic is a four state data type having the values 0 1 x and z also then what is the difference between reg and logic logic was introduced in system error log because it can be confusing to declare which one to use as reg or wire in Verilog. Reg can be used only in procedural assignments, where logic can be used both in procedural and continuous assignments in system Verilog. What is the difference between RAND and RAND-C? A RAND keyword provides uniformly distributed random values. The same value may be repeated before all the combinations of that are covered. RAND-C keyword provides random value without repeating the same unless the complete range of values is covered. What is enumeration data type and how it is used? The enum data type is used to define a set of named integer values which represents symbolic constants. Enum provides a convenient way to represent a finite set of related values, making the code more readable and maintainable. What is pass by value and pass by reference? Pass by value. When a parameter is passed by value, a copy of the parameter's value is passed to the task or function. Any modifications made to the parameter within the task or function do not affect the original value of the parameter in the calling scope. Passing by value is useful when you want to ensure that original value of the parameter remains unchanged in the calling scope. You can see the example here. Pass by reference. When a parameter is passed by reference, a reference to the original parameter's memory location is passed to the task or function. Any modifications made to the parameter within the task or function directly affect the original value of the parameter in the calling scope. Passing by reference is useful when you want changes made within the task or function to reflect in the calling scope. You can see the example over here. Explain system Verilog scheduling semantics. You can see here in Verilog, we have active, inactive, NBA and monitor regions. In system Verilog, with these active regions, we have reactive regions also. First, starting with the preponed region, then active, inactive, NBA, as same as Verilog, and then comes reactive regions. Observed, reactive, then re-inactive, and then postponed regions. In the active, inactive NBA, as same as the Verilog, here also the execution occurs. In the reactive region, evaluate assertions, executing action blocks and program blocks, and execute zero delay statements, and then at the end, dollar monitor, dollar strobe, and PLI, VPI calls will be executed. In this diagram also you can see the different regions in system verilog execution. What is inheritance, polymorphism and encapsulation? Inheritance allows user to create an extended class from the existing class. It means we can create a child class from the parent class and we call it as the base class. The extends keyword is used to inherit the class from the base class. What is polymorphism? Polymorphism means having many forms, the ability of the code to behave differently depending on the type of object it's dealing with. The base class handle can invoke methods of its child class, which has the same name. Hence, the object can take many forms. It uses virtual methods that helps to override base class attributes and methods. What is data encapsulation and hiding? Data encapsulation is a mechanism that combines class properties and methods. Data hiding is a mechanism to hide class members within the class. They are not accessible outside the class scope. This avoids class member modification outside the class scope and its misuse. By default, all class members are accessible with class handles in system Verilog. To restrict access, access qualifiers are used. Explain program block and the difference between program and module block. 
all elements within the program block are scheduled to execute in the reactive region this helps to avoid the race condition between the design and the test bench it provides an execution entry point to the test bench it encapsulates test bench data in a single container the difference between program and module block is that program block cannot instantiate a module block but a module block can instantiate another module or another program block a program block cannot have any interface user defined primitives always block or nested program the initial block inside the program block is scheduled to execute in the reactive region the initial block inside the module are scheduled in the active region what are system verilog interfaces and why they are introduced system verilog provides an interface construct that simply contains the bundle of set of signals to communicate with the design and test bench components in verilog the addition of new signals has to be made manually we need to change everywhere that module has been instantiated system verilog made it easier to add new signals in the interface block for existing connections the advantage of having interface is that it increases the reusability across the projects the set of signals can be easily shared across the components by passing its handle it provides the direction information using mod ports and timing information using clocking blocks interface can contain parameters variables functional coverage assertions tasks and functions also what are mod ports and clocking blocks mod ports and clocking blocks are the components of interface mod port put access restrictions by specifying the port directions that avoid driving of same signal by design and test bench multiple mod ports can be declared for different directions for example monitor and driver to specify synchronization scheme and timing requirements for an interface a clocking block is used the test bench can have multiple clocking blocks but only one clocking block per clock the clocking block can be declared in the program module or interface what is virtual interface and its need the design and physical interface are static in nature an interface represents signals that are used to connect design modules or test bench to the dut and is commonly known as physical interface hence they cannot be used dynamically inside the test bench components in modern test bench like system verilog and uvm randomized class objects are used and connect to the design dynamically hence to bridge the gap between the static world of modules and dynamic world of objects the virtual interface is used as a pointer or handle for an actual interface the difference between fork join fork join any and fork join none fork join all process starts simultaneously and join will wait for all the process to be completed fork join any all process starts simultaneously and join any will wait for at least one process to be completed fork join none all process starts simultaneously and join none will not wait for any process to be completed what are the differences between mailbox and queue queue is a variable size and ordered collection of elements where mailbox is a communication mechanism that is used to establish a connection between test bench components one component can put the data into the mailbox that stores data internally and can retrieved by another component the mailbox can be parameterized mailbox that can be put or get data of particular data type the queue has push front push back and pop front pop back to operate over data elements mailbox has get and put methods as commonly used methods to exchange the data data or objects what is semaphore and where it is used semaphore is built in class of system verilog used for synchronization which is a container that contains fixed number of keys it is used to control the access to shared resources example the same memory location is accessed by two different cores 
to avoid unexpected results when cores try to write or read from the same memory location a semaphore can be used the methods with the semaphore we are going to use new get put and try get what are the differences between dollar strobe dollar monitor and dollar display dollar display will display the strings or variables and expressions immediately and it will execute in the active region dollar monitor it monitor signals and display the variables and expressions upon its changes and executes in the postponed region dollar write to display the strings variables and expressions without appending the new line at the end of the message and executing in the active region dollar strobe it is also displaying the strings variables and expressions at the end of the current simulation time that is in the postponed region the common question in system error log interview is that talk about basic test bench components the test bench components are like this within the test bench top we have test component under test there is an environment within the environment there is a generator it generate the transactions and it gives the transaction to the driver driver send the transaction to the dut through the interface and the response of the dut will be collected from the monitor it gives the transactions back to the scoreboard for decision these are the very important and repeatedly asked system error log interview questions thank you